Welcome to Commerce Children's Hospital, University of Chicago Medical Center. I'm Mohan Gundeti. Uh, I'm the director and chief of pediatric urology. So we make every effort, just not me, but we have a team, our nurse practitioner Beverly Dooley, our residents and our nurses on the floor or in the operative room. And you know, we want to feel them that they are here and we are here for them. And this is a way we have established a relation with all the families and you know, that's how we really get the gratitude and satisfaction from them, not just the outcome of the surgeries. Hi, I'm Beverly and welcome to Pediatric Urodynamics. Urodynamics is a study of the bladder that enables us to determine why a child who's been referred to us may be having urinary symptoms. I'm Lisa Herman. This is my daughter, Marissa Herman. We're from Elmhurst, and um, Marissa is six and a half. She's going to be seven actually next month. We chose Dr. Gundetti because I had read a lot of positive things about him. I had also heard about the robotic surgery, and Marissa already has other large scars and things, and I really just didn't want to have her have another large scar on her, and I really felt robotic would be the best way to go. You know, what is robotic surgery? Uh, first of all, robotic surgery means you are doing the same surgery you could do with the open approach without cutting open. The advantage is being, you know, the child can eat immediately, you know, they can go home quickly. Families can get back to their work within a sooner rather than spending more time. Robotic surgery program started in the United States in 2005. And in Chicagoland, I was the one to start here at Commerce Children's Hospital in 2007. And after our dedicated research and working in the laboratory, we did the first successful reconstruction uh, in the world on a pediatric patient. My name is Susan Gill. And this is my daughter Emily. And that's my husband Dane. And we're from Plainfield, Illinois. Emily, she had difficulties with. Uh, obviously Kathy and herself and that was the whole issue we needed her to have her independence and and it was just taking a toll on her it was her age appropriate age and we had good direction guidance from Gundetti and Beverly and it just it worked out from start, from start to finish she was operated on Tuesday and we went home Friday evening it's fabulous we didn't think it was gonna be that quick she can catheter herself just like that yeah. My passion here is I want to feel the families be a part of our team, be happy, and I want them to be involved in the treatment. We are so pleased to have done the surgery and that it was successful and that she no longer has to be on the daily medication um, to prevent the UTIs and that um, her recovery was so quick and I was very amazed. We had Christmas, you know, a couple weeks later and you wouldn't even know, looking back at the pictures, that you know how well she did. Now she could be a little girl. She can go spend a night, uh, be independent, uh, and all the good things that a normal child can do. Mm -hmm. And uh, that's uh, that was our whole goal from the get-go. But we just had to wait for her to get old enough to to do the procedure. And she's 14. She'll be a freshman in high school next year, and so it's mm -hmm. a age appropriate and. Uh, She's ready for it, and she, she's mastered it real well. We're just tickle pink, everything just uh, came out perfect. It couldn't have been better. I, I, God couldn't have scripted it better. The procedure, the healing, the people, mm -hmm. it's, it's been great. Words can't describe. 